Hey everybody, my name is Casey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing an entrance speed build on my new island. So it's going to be like a little sunken waterfall area. This is the area that I'm going to go ahead and work with. So this is a space that I've just kind of laid down some pathing as maybe a potential idea. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. So actually I have a little confession. I reset this island i just i was working on this entrance you guys for so long and i just needed like four or five extra tiles away from the airport and i couldn't make it work but this build did work but then as i sat there and i was like looking at it i was like ah i just can't get it like a hundred percent right um so i did reset this island but I do want to say for this build, this is kind of what I'm envisioning for my new island. Um, my new island is still going to be called Strawberry. And I will say also that it was really fun doing this build and being able to do terraforming again. I know that's something I've talked about a lot that I have missed. So here we are just doing some waterscaping. I like to kind of just set the area up by doing the main general terraforming first and then going in and figuring out the waterscaping. And I think that's kind of why at the end of all this, you know, a couple days later, I was just like, I can't make it work was because I wanted to have waterscaping on all of these levels. But I still think this build is valuable, I guess, if that's the right word to show you all, because again, I really didn't enjoy doing the terraforming and as well as like trying to figure out how to do like a sunken area again because once you work on an island that isn't you know full of terraforming it could be tricky to start back up but right here I'm just kind of enclosing this area I'm going to have an incline leading up from the entrance directly to this area so it'll be like a little overlook area as well and I love areas like that but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and let you all watch me do some terraforming for a bit and then I will stop back in throughout the video when I have any tips along the way as you just saw there was my custom designs for this island so I will work on getting those on my card I do get a lot of comments asking me for custom designs I always have my card linked in the description of my YouTube videos as well on my Animal Crossing Instagram um, I will say though I have made I think this is my sixth or seventh fully completed or this will be my seventh fully completed island so codes from one of my first islands like wildwood or wildflower they may not be on my card um, there's just a limit to the amount of photos that you can add with the proper codes on the card website so i'm trying to keep it to my most recent island so if you're struggling with finding any codes the best way to help me i guess help you is to either message me a photo of them on instagram or timestamp the point in the video of the code you're referring to and i will try my best to find it for you that's just kind of a random not rant but i just wanted to explain to you my codes and then i also want to say real quick i did make a discord so i will have that linked in the description as well if you would like to join i know i chat a lot with you guys over on the community post but if you ever have any questions or anything feel free to join my discord i would love to see some of y'all there but anyways now at this point in the build i did say i was gonna stop back in but i'm kind of just and i don't know talking a bit more today um I am working on the like sunken part for this build. So for the areas like this, I like to add a lot of detail by adding in stunted trees and different flowers and mixtures of the hardwood and cedar trees. So as you can see, I'm just adding a little stunted tree now. And then I'll just probably make like a little seating area and fill the rest of this in with flowers. So now I will let you all watch me build this little sunken area for a bit and then I will stop back in. So right here, I'm just moving the cedar tree back a tile and then this um, hardwood tree so it covers the handles of the garden wagon. And then I'm adding in some fencing and flowers. And I will say that it's kind of tricky going from building a structured island to a more natural or like spring woodsy island, whatever you want to call the theme. Because it's just like, it feels so weird to be terraforming again. So I'm kind of thinking for this new island, I want to have maybe some experimental builds. I just don't want to put as much pressure on myself for finishing it. Um, 
as well as like i want to be open to other themes or ideas so definitely let me know what theme you guys are working on down in the comments and if you're kind of struggling with anything in animal crossing i know one of my channel members said they would like to see a beach build and that's definitely something i would love to do i plan on doing that i just have to get some more items and whatnot and with my job, it has been kind of stressful lately. We're a little bit understaffed. I mean, I guess who isn't right now? But I've just been working a lot, like six days a week, working different shifts. So it's kind of hard to get in time to play Animal Crossing. But I definitely want to be able to stay committed to at least releasing one to two videos a week for you guys. And then I also wanted to just talk a little bit about my plans going forward for this channel. Um, I do think within the next couple months, I will be able to start streaming. It's just, I, I literally, you guys, I feel like when I was younger, like when I was in my mid twenties, I knew a lot about computers and technology and like what's the best to do and like what you can use for this or that. But in all reality, streaming and what kind of computers you need is such an intimidating topic like i don't know if people talk about that much but i have looked and watched so many youtube videos that i just can't figure it out otherwise it's just kind of like i guess i'm a little bit afraid to take that like leap of faith by like investing into like a new pc and then maybe streaming potentially not working out for me so i will say and i can say that i think i will be able to do it over the next couple months likely by summertime i would love to be able to start streaming for you guys so i hope that's something you're interested in um but anyways i just kind of wanted to say that that's something i've been wanting to talk to you guys for talk to you guys about for a while so i just kind of wanted to fill you in on that but let's go ahead and jump back into this build so right here what i'm doing is just a little bit more waterscaping to kind of fill in this empty cliff up here so i'm going to just work on that for a little bit So as I'm working on this area over here, this is kind of what I was talking about in the beginning of the video where I said I just needed like four or five more tiles of space. I know we're right by my entrance, but I do want to have, I think, a bigger gap. Like you see where that picnic area is down there? I want to have a bigger gap between like a little seating area and more waterscaping. And I just, I wasn't able to fully make that possible. I think I made it work for this entrance and hopefully this helps if you have an airport that's a little bit closer to your resident services because mine's a good distance away um but it's still relatively close especially if you have like a big entrance planned and so this area up here as well i ran into the issue of trying to plant trees with the waterscaping as you can see i'm running all around back and forth and in my head i'm just trying to think okay if i can't put trees down what else can i put in this area so right here i'm just gonna go ahead and make a little small seating area a little space filler so i'll let you all watch me do that for a little bit So as you can see, or I'm not sure if you've noticed, but throughout this build, I tend to go back to the center and just check on the build, make sure that everything is looking right and make sure I like the view of it. And so now I just am seeing that I need to go in and fill in some of the empty spaces around this side here. So I'm gonna just do that by planting some flowers and then I'm gonna go ahead and start to lay down this really pretty green pathing. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And here we are, we have the pathing laid down and so now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go ahead and just replace some flowers with some different colors I wanted to have a variety of like oranges whites pinks and like some touches of yellow I think that's gonna be like maybe the color scheme for this island I don't know I kind of have to think about it a little bit more I know I said I reset but essentially everything's gonna be the same except my map is gonna be a little different I still intend to have some of the same villagers but now I figured I can make this area a bit more interesting by extending the waterscaping and then just adding a little hammock there I feel like that feels very like woods 
artsy and natural and then I found this beautiful white log plank pathing so I'm gonna just use that as like kind of a little filler code for that area and then really what I just need to finish up for this video is filling in these smaller spaces and so I'm trying to do that with the bushes alternating with flowers you guys probably know by now that's a tactic or technique that I really love using especially when I'm doing terraforming and so now that I have those smaller faces spaces filled in um, I want to go ahead and just start a little bit on this area over here so I want to just have like a little seating area I went ahead and place down some log planks and this part was actually recorded a couple days later and this is where I start to realize okay is this build actually gonna work am I gonna like it and I think I could have made it work but I think it's also important to realize when you're just not gonna be happy with something long term and I mean honestly that goes for like anything in life like if you're doing something and it's not making you happy like really consider like maybe going a different route or restarting I know this is kind of maybe like a reach with like what I'm comparing it to but it's always kind of been like my my way of life I guess or like who I am as a person like I don't go about things I guess in the traditional sense I'm a very like free-spirited and like open-minded person I really think that if there's something in life that you either want or isn't making you happy you should address it head-on I'm a firm believer in standing up for yourself and it really like we only have one life to live so you should not be wasting it doing things that make you unhappy even if it comes down to something as small as your animal crossing island like you know what I mean like I don't know like I said maybe I'm just kind of going off a bit on a tangent here but I guess I've just been recently thinking like a lot about like life and like especially when it comes to creating content like part of me feels kind of guilty that I'm not able to get more videos out for you guys but at the same time I know if I pressure myself and like force myself to create things it's just gonna lead me to get more burnt out especially with Animal Crossing I think a lot of people are feeling kind of like that burnout with Animal Crossing and like I don't know how many other like content creators if any at all watch my channel but that can be also something that can be a little bit tricky to navigate but even if you're not like Animal Crossing came to everybody at a time where we needed it most like this time 2020 Animal Crossing was like the biggest gift so it's kind of hard when you had a game that kind of came in and like saved the day to now being two years later and just thinking like okay well, I don't really have like too much of a motivation to play anymore so it's kind of like a tricky road to navigate and so that's why I really want to be careful of forcing myself to create content and like even if you're not a content creator if you're playing Animal Crossing and it's not making you happy take a break from it you know like I still enjoy watching Animal Crossing videos if I'm playing another game or whatever it is to me I just want you guys to be able to kind of like escape from your everyday life or just feel like you can have somebody to relate to like me I guess as a friend like I'm always trying to be there for people and I love doing that and I just want to be able to provide a space for my subscribers or people who stumble across my videos to know that like you're safe here come here and just relax for like 15 to 20 minutes out of your day like you know what I mean so even if it's you know you're not the biggest fan of animal crossing right now like it's okay to take a break like don't put any pressure on yourself to continue to do something that you're not happy with but thank you all for listening to that i hope you know i guess i'm trying to be a little bit more open with you guys in some of my videos because i can understand like being a viewer and watching somebody who it doesn't always have like a face cam you're kind of like curious about what they look like or who they are and like you can go to my social media or even discord you can see what I look like you could see it on my YouTube banner but I guess I kind of am just trying to let you all in to like more of who I am as a person and I also just wanted to say I got this really sweet message on Instagram for somebody asking for a code and that they were just so kind and they kind of just said that they were like nervous I wouldn't reply or something like that like my Instagram DM seriously I know people are like my DMs are always open but like I genuinely mean that like if you guys have a question about a code or something in a video or an item like Lee, you can reach out to me on Instagram my Instagram is just at Casey crossing or you can leave a comment below like I love interacting with you guys so I guess I'm kind of just hoping that we can build a good community here I don't have like a perfect name for it because I can't think of anything that goes well with like Casey 
Hazy Crossing or starts with a K, but we'll get there one day. But anyways, this build is kind of finishing up now. I'm gonna let you all just relax and watch for a little bit, and then I just have to work on a couple more areas, and I will stop in at the end of the video. all right guys so here we are and this is my entrance on strawberry so if you go to the left over here we have a little bear picnic the bear is just going to be reading a bunch of books and vibing this path i wanted to go ahead and lead to the right side and then if we come up this incline here is the final i guess overlook area right here now that i'm looking back on it i am really happy with how this build came out i just wish i could have added a couple more trees but i think like the details with the waterscaping and flowers turned out pretty good and so i hope this video i guess was kind of able to help show you guys a little bit more about who i am as a person as well as giving you some tips for animal crossing and helping you kind of just have a little bit of time in your day to take to yourself and just relax a little bit but other than that, I really wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys would like to see any other videos or potentially any other games that you would like to see me play, drop it in the comments below. Don't forget, I have a Discord if you all are interested in joining. The link will be in the description. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!